and we shouldn't have that uh, that uh, that uh, that feeling. And I think that now, after all this process on the on the on two um, on the projects of the two agreements have been endorsed, I think that. Uh, we had scored so many positive points. Now, now we are, on a, legally speaking, on a very solid basis, more solid than uh, years ago. Throughout the last year, we had um, a lot of visibility of the issue of Western Sahara inside the European institution, institutions, and I think that for the last decade, we have never had a similar degree of visibility and uh, and presence of our issue uh, among the European institutions. And of course, maybe politically, we succeeded in, in provoking a sort of contradictions between the, some Euro individual European, European states, the process between the Commission towards the Parliament, between the polit different uh, political uh, groups, and I think that uh, now that the button, at least this part of the button is behind us, we, uh, we are far from yeah, I mean, losing the, the, the war of gaining this, uh, of, gaining our, uh, of, of getting our rights recognized and, uh, and endorsed by, uh, by, by, uh, by Europe. Uh, and uh, and of course what Palo Palomo was saying, I think it's on the right uh, on the right uh, direction. Now it's a time of uh, reflection, uh, but at the same time it's a time that we collectively can think about uh, sort of maintaining this momentum and preparing for the new phase after the after after the appeal and after the new parliamentarian elections, but we are really, it's not a defeat at all, and I think that we gained uh, uh, a lot, and the, we are more armed and more prepared for the next uh, phase. Thanks.